Ladies and gentlemen, from the Parsons Production Studio, we've got some bad news. So yesterday, off camera, I was messing around with the, uh, the SV650 over here. And we have a little bit more damage than I suspected. So the accident that occurred was a vehicle in front of the motorcyclist slammed on its brakes unexpectedly. The motorcyclist then grabbed a handful of front brake and essentially flipped over the motorcycle and it did a couple rolls or flips essentially. And the damage was hidden by these things. These are some side fairings for the SV650 right under the, the driver's seat, the, the front rider's seat. And let's go look at the damage. So yesterday I took off the fuel tank. Fuel tank's right there. And here is the extent of the damage. This is the main frame. This is the subframe. You can see right here, we've got a gigantic crack in the main frame. That's on both sides, because if you look closely, the whole subframe itself is shifted to the left. Now, I don't quite know if it's worth buying a whole new main frame to replace these that are snapped off or if I should just weld it and buy a new subframe. I was really hoping this wasn't a, deal, a big deal, but the uh, these fairings were right here and they hid that. So I did not see that at all, which is very, very unfortunate. I was really getting close with putting all the uh, all the front end on, new, brand new front wheel, brand new radiator, brand new forks. I thought I was getting really close to getting this thing going and uh, it, <laughs> It looks like we've got a little bit more of a setback than we anticipated. I could possibly get an aluminum welder and weld these and just buy a new subframe. Or my other option is to buy a new mainframe, new subframe, and put all the old parts back on it. I don't even know if this thing runs yet, so I don't know if it's worth it. Now what I could do is I could just strip it all down, sell it for parts, and use the motor to make some sweet go-kart or something. Or I could put it in a different project of some kind. Maybe a 1983 KZ750 uh, SV650 swap. Who knows, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little tricky. I don't know what to do, unfortunately. This, this is really setting me back. But that is the news I wanted to share with y'all. Anyway, getting into today's episode, we are working on the KZ, the KZ750. In the last episode, you saw me tear apart my carburetors. My carburetors lie before you. They are, for the most part, all put back together. Let me tell you how much of a pain this was. So I accidentally bent the crap out of the inner right throttle shaft and I, I thought I could just put it back together, kind of straighten it out a little bit. No, that's, that's not the case. I had to order all new parts, and fortunately, somebody on the internet took these apart and parted them out, which was very thankful for that because I needed this exact part. I didn't need a whole new set of carburetors. So in today's episode, we are going to be installing the carburetors and hopefully getting this bike back to uh, operating condition. I would love to give it a start today. It would be awesome if I just hit that starter button and the thing just started right up first try. That's some, some far out uh, adventurous thinking right there. But we will see if that is the case. Now what else needs to be done with it is, right now the front wheel is at the tire shop getting a new tire. I need to go pick that up today, it is ready. It's the black wheel, I think you saw me, or the gray wheel, and then I painted it black, I'll show you here in a minute. I need to mount the front brakes, mount the carburetors, bleed the brakes and get the brakes all set. After that, we are pretty much ready for a first start and uh, we should be good to go. So without further ado, let's mount these carburetors. Okay, so the carburetors are officially installed. You can see they're looking mighty fine, just hanging out. You can see I got the uh, the line hooked up there. And when I twist the throttle, nice quick movement. There is a little bit of a slop in that line. I don't know if you can see it right there, but we can take care of that later. Next, we need to get the fuel system all taken care of. So there's this line that splits into two, and those go to the outers. And then this one goes to the fuel tank, the clear one. 
and then the other one will go to the other fuel connection. Let's get that set up. Okay, so fuel system is all taken care of now. Now we need to add oil and we're ready for our first start. Okay, so we are ready for the first start. I've got the keys here in my hand. Let's uh, do this thing. I think we've got oil. So I drained all the oil out of it a while back. We've got gas. Carburetors are freshly rebuilt. There is no exhaust right now, so it's gonna be stupid loud if it does fire up. I think it's definitely gonna need some starting fluid, but we're gonna try it without first and see what happens. Wish me luck! Probably should have it on the center stand just in case it's in gear. Starting fluid. God, this thing is loud. Oh my God. Time to put exhaust on. Time to put exhaust on. Holy moly. I don't know if you guys saw that, but like, oh, that thing was still on fire. <laughs> Flames were shooting out of the exhaust. <laughs> oh my God, that was exciting. Okay, so these are the headers. Uh, they look a little crusty. Uh, it's been a while since these have been on the bike. And as you saw from the first start, my carburetors work. That is freaking awesome. I am so stoked about that. That is, that is something to celebrate. Uh, however, it is definitely time for exhaust because this thing is terrifying without exhaust. An exciting thing I did get is this. I got black exhaust wrap for the headers. I think this is gonna set the bike off so much. It's gonna look really, really good on these headers. It's, if it's time to put the exhaust on, it's time to put this on. Let's wrap some pipes. So I've never wrapped pipes before, but I can't imagine it's too hard. I have watched a bunch of videos on it, so I'm assuming it's just wrapping and holding. So I know these things get pretty hot and it comes with some special clamp that gave me, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six of them. That uh, should be okay, cause I'm just gonna do the headers. I'm, I'm not planning on doing the actual pipe itself. So let's hook this up and let's get to it. So I'm assuming you just wrap and go. It's like fiberglass. It's like fiberglass, yeah. Okay, so the headers are officially wrapped. They look not bad. I'm pretty proud of them for my first time wrapping exhaust headers. Uh, we will see how well these go back on and uh, let's get them on a bike. Okay, so the exhaust is installed. You can see it's looking pretty darn good. I am a little unhappy with how that looks with the front tire being exposed like that. A lot of dirt and debris is gonna go through there. So now that it's all wrapped up, <laughs> no pun intended there, huh? Let's, uh, let's give this thing an official start and see how she sounds. The muffler isn't on, however, it should be pretty loud still, but it'll be not shooting flames at least. Let's give it a shot. Starter fluid. Well, she runs, but it's a little funky. It's not quite getting uh, fuel or something. I've noticed we're getting a little of a fuel drip right there. I don't quite know what's going on with that. Maybe just the valve's not quite tight. Oh, I had to choke on. Let's see if that'll change anything. I'm really hoping I got that on camera. KZ almost just caught on fire. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but uh, the whole thing, this is all, I had to pull the fire extinguisher. <laughs> it, uh, she caught on fire. <laughs> That's not good. I'm starting to rethink my whole motorcycle building. <laughs> Golly. Oh, that was fun. Let's go investigate. Well, we definitely had some excitement there. The, uh, the garage floor is all covered in fire retardants and the main thing I'm pissed about is now that there's fire retardant inside the carbs. Hopefully I can just take an air nozzle and just blow it out. But uh, what happened is there was gas leaking from the carb and then when a big fireball shot out the exhaust it lit everything on fire and then it just kept going. Nice one. Yeah. 
So uh, let's start over and let's clean up a little bit. Okay, so clearly we have some issues going on with the KZ. Don't quite understand what's going on. I got majority of the uh, the fire retardant all taken care of. Hey, got the majority of the fire retardant removed. There's still definitely some remnants left over. I'm really, really upset that that had to happen, but it did. The main issue right now is my floats. My floats, my carburetors are for some reason not floating properly. So I think that's the main reason why we are getting a ton of fuel pouring out the bottom here. Don't quite know why that is. Maybe it's uh, I installed the floats improperly or we have some other deeper issue we need to look into. But we need to address that because what happened was when all the fuel started pouring out the bottom end of the carb, fuel started dripping everywhere down here. And I didn't have the whole muffler on yet, so that's why I put it on now. Uh, but I didn't have it on and a big old fireball shot out of here, caught the fuel vapors and drips on fire and that's what just erupted everything into a raging inferno here i'm very very glad i always come prepared with fire extinguishers so lesson learned here if you are going to be working in the garage on motorcycles or any sort of vehicle that has the ability to catch fire like that be sure to be prepared with some sort of fire retardant as a fire extinguisher or a fire suppression system of some kind, but stay prepared, stay safe out there. So thank you for watching another episode of Parsons Productions and hopefully in the next installment of the KZ build series, this thing will be running and ripping down the road in a not fiery fashion. Take care y'all.